It's Cannes festival time, and the big news in the last few hours is that a bunch of people went to see a Lars von Trier film, then got upset when they saw a Lars von Trier film, and walked out. I'm always skeptical of these Cannes controversies, so here's Peter Bradshaw with a more measured response to the film. He's a very, very talented filmmaker who is chiefly addicted to one thing, publicity. And some articles that will get you caught up in what else has been happening, including The Guardian's most anticipated films of the festival. When somebody would say to Stanley, I'd give my right arm to work for you, he would kind of smile because I actually think he thought, well, why are you lowballing me? What, just the right arm? A ton of fantastic Stanley Kubrick stuff has appeared this week. First, a documentary about Leon Vitelli, Kubrick's right hand man. For me, this is a shut up and take my money from the trailer alone. But if you need more convincing, here's Vitelli interviewed by Rolling Stone. The Museum of the City of New York has an exhibition of Kubrick's early photographs. It's amazing to see his style already so developed in these pictures. If, like me, you're not in New York, both Voice and the New York Times have an excellent selection of the photographs. If proof of Kubrick's ongoing influence were needed, here's David Simon explaining how Paths of Glory influenced The Wire. And here's Christopher Nolan explaining how and why he supervised the 50th anniversary re-release of 2001. And finally for Kubrick, let's give the man himself the last word. Here's a never before heard interview with the publicity shy director. Bringing things more up to date, the writer of Arrival and the writers of A Quiet Place explain how they went from story to film. A bad first AD is a pain in the ass. This guy seems to have the right personality for the job. More nauseating and depressing than the leper colonies of East Pakistan. Cinephilia Beyond explains how Peeping Tom went from ruining its director's career to being considered a classic. Great director retrospective too this week. Mark Cousins cares enough about Orson Welles' work to have Welles' signature tattooed on his arm. Cousins' new documentary on Welles looks intriguing. Here's a clip and a positive early review. And if you don't know Cousins' work, it's worth checking it out. Here's an interview with him, which, randomly, happens to feature him wearing a kilt in the park beside my house. Easy Riders Raging Bulls, Peter Biskind's book about the new Hollywood of the 70s, is one of the most entertaining books on film ever written, but it neglected the female filmmakers of the period. The New York Times looks at an exhibition trying to give them their due. Sadly, Anne V. Coates, the legendary editor, died this week. She had worked on everything from Lawrence of Arabia to Out of Sight, and also Congo and Fifty Shades of Grey, because even legends have to pay the bills. And if, like me, you're a bit obsessive about these things, you can head over to Vashi Visuals and see every single frame of one of her most famous projects, Lawrence of Arabia. Is writing harder than directing? Pointless question, yes but fun to watch the directors of Guardians of the Galaxy and Doctor Strange argue about it. If writing films is too hard, maybe you could give video games a go, but according to this article in PC Gamer, it can be a struggle. Even defining the word cinematic would take longer than this video on cinematic lighting, but these are some great lighting tips. How long does it take for a film to go from announcement to cinemas? Stephen Fellows has the answers. Wanna feel depressed? Check out how much money Seth Rogen has been paid for his new film. And to end on a negative note, by 14, Brad Renfro was a movie star, based off his performances in films like App Pupil. By 25, he was dead of a drug overdose. Buzzfeed looks at why there was no one there to prevent his decline. Thanks for watching. As always, if you want this series to keep going, please like and comment. It lets me know people are getting something out of these videos. Until next time, I'm off to make films. I hope you're doing the same.